I think visiting teaching is central to the work of salvation. It's really what the Lord has asked us to do is to reach out and love one another, to look after one another and shepherd. Handbook 2 testifies of the powerful influence of visiting teachers in the work of salvation. Their efforts to minister to individuals and their families can help sisters accept and live the gospel and receive sacred ordinances in the temple. Visiting teachers may be assigned to love and fellowship investigators even before they come into the church. Carrie Lindahl, she is a single mom. She has three children and she is taking the missionary discussions. You know, we just try to be there. My companion and I just try to be there for her as she um, has any questions to do with the gospel. Sometimes I just need somebody to talk to about the gospel and the church and I can't really go to my parents. So if I have somebody else there to talk to about it that understands what I'm going through, it really helps. The visiting teachers have done a wonderful job of being there for her on a daily basis and uh, she's progressing wonderfully and uh, I just know that it's because of their efforts. Relief Society leaders give high priority to assigning dedicated visiting teachers to recent converts and less active sisters. So Miranda has been a member of the church for about two years. We knew that she would need somebody to take her and to nourish her with the good word of God and to keep her in the right ways. If I ever have any questions, I know I can go to Reagan or Andrea um, because they they're my friends too, they're not just my visiting teachers. And that's a new thing for me, having you know these girls who I can, I can depend upon. Visiting teachers can help sisters prepare to receive the ordinances of the temple. My um, visiting teachers just have a special place in my heart. They remind me that Heavenly Father cares so much about me and loves me. And I was so glad that they were there for me when I went through the temple. There's a quote by President Kimball that said, there are sisters in rags, spiritual rags. They're entitled to robes, spiritual robes. And it's your privilege to go into homes and exchange robes for rags. And you are going to save souls. As visiting teachers love and minister to sisters and their families, they help them prepare to receive the blessings of eternal life, the greatest of all the gifts of God. Visiting teachers have the opportunity to play a powerful role in the work of salvation. Which sisters in your ward has the Lord prepared to make next steps in their spiritual progress? How can you help visiting teachers fulfill their responsibilities to teach and minister to these sisters? <laughs>